well, I've, I've been in the garage again today. And I'm still waiting for the the new bolts for the convod for the ones I snapped the other day. But because uh, I'm an impatient devil, I'll still wait for that. I've gone and fitted the uh, the ported and milled head, courtesy of Brian Key, which includes the manifold I made for the GX390 carb. So I've quickly just chucked it. Well, not quickly, precisely chucked it together. Um, had a bit of fun with the throttle setup because the butterfly, the throttle butterfly on the 390 turns off the direction to the uh, 200. So, whereas in the past we had the throttle cable coming in from this side and pulling to open the throttle. Now I've got to go that way to open the throttle. So I've got to switch the cable from the, uh, the right hand side looking at it to the left hand side. So I'll come around this way and have a look. So I've had to make up a, a simple bracket just to hold the, uh, the cable on there. Just chopped up one of my old choke holes like I've got on there, that's I've had to bend it out really straight to, to reach the choke because of the manifold. It's a bigger distance to travel. And because the return spring for the governor arm needs to be the way around rather than being over here somewhere, it's I've got it wrapped around the uh, the governor arm shaft and just here. So after a couple of hours of messing around and scratching my head. I've come up with a workable solution. So if I just get hold of the old throttle, it's all working nice. Returning back to the, uh, the idle stop, the choke um, remote choke mechanism it was just a case of hooking it up like it was on the old one, no problems there really. But because I've had to put the, the throttle cable on the other side now, so it's now left handed throttle rather than right, it might interfere with the uh, remote choke lever just here once it's on your back, but we'll have to, we'll have to see about that. So that's what I've been up to today, really. So just in case putting them bolts in the cum rod. I, I oiled the uh, cylinder head bolts and I've taught them up properly. Pretty much everything's back on. I lost the lash cap but I managed to find another one. So, nearly there now, he said. So watch this space. <laughs> 